Capricorn. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I'm going to do your September 2018 monthly general reading. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. And as always, Capricorn, keep in mind if the reading does not resonate for you, please watch your Moon, your Rising signs. If you are, have not yet subscribed to my channel, Capricorn, please be sure to click the the pink subscribe also click the bell so that you get notified when I post your readings I'm going to start going live all that fun stuff for you guys I'm using the Smith Waite tarot deck Capricorn all right the nine of wands did flip up for you guys you know, so you guys are being patient, you're tired, you're exhausted, but you're still hanging in there. You are persevering. Maybe a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, is it important. Results across spread as always. Capricorn, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Facebook Live every Monday, Instagram for videoed dailies per element, instant go if you'd like a question answered. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. We will be clarifying, okay? Okay, your overall energy. Wow, the King of Pentacles. And we have the King and the Queen here. I'm sorry about that. Okay, I was looking at your spread. Um, so an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, could be important. Others of you, this is definitely your energy. You know, very focused on your career, your finances. Feeling grounded, practical, secure. It's great energy for your overall energy. It's the overall energy. So if you're involved with an earth sign, it could be male or female. Well, we have both here. For some of you, there could be something going on within the job front. The Nine of Pentacles. You could be... You definitely... um. Have a decision, Capricorn, that needs to be made here. You know, if you're a business owner, maybe a very important decision regarding your business or your finances, career. You know, with the Two of Swords, either you either you were making a decision or you were waiting on one. But You know, with the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, you know, this really is having it all. Like, I do not see you guys struggling at all financially. Financially, you guys are in an awesome, awesome place. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is your energy and it is, you know, financial security, abundance, success. You've worked very hard to be successful and financially secure. And, you know, if you have to make a decision, you could be putting it off or procrastinating or really just feeling stuck. You know, you, you just don't know what to do. You know, those of you that it is not work-related, it could be family or children with the Six of Cups in your foundation. That could be important this month, Family Matters. For others of you, something from the past could have come back around. But for some of you, it's definitely business work related. For others of you, someone getting in contact with you. Water sign energy here, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Some of you definitely could have found something out in the recent past because you do have the sun. 
sign of Leo. But I feel like something was definitely highlighted. And this could have been clarity came in. You found something out. But whatever it was that you found out, it did make you very happy. And this is also success, abundance, you know, true achievement, true, true happiness, contentment. Some of you could have found the, the job of your dreams. Someone could have offered you something here. And that's why you need to make a decision. And it could be a very difficult one. Crowning you, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the King and the Queen. So this definitely could be a couple. So for those of you that it's not, you know, work-related or a business partnership, because it certainly can be, this could be a relationship matter. You could be thinking about your spouse person that you're partnered to, involved with. If not, you could be just thinking about your finances, your career. You know, maybe this is, has something to do with the decision that you have to make. You know, what's very interesting, though, is you do have two queens here. You know, around the second half of the month, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be important. This could also be someone that wants the truth. This could be you if you have air in your chart coming through as the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, you know, wanting the truth, clarity. It's a very serious and determined person. Some of you definitely are taking on this energy. But then others of you, I feel like this is someone that you're dealing with around the second half of the month. And in the position of how you see yourself, you have the Four of Pentacles. This could be someone that's holding out, waiting on something. It could also be a conservative energy. But we can clearly see, guys, that, you know, for some of you, your finances are very important this month. They're definitely on your mind. Some of you are, are definitely very focused. There's a lot of pentacles here. Are very focused on saving your money. You know, not spending as much. Even though, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is typically having, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles, really is having enough to splurge on yourself, your friends. But I think, you know, some of you are just holding out And in the position of how others are viewing you, like this could be your family, those closest to you, friends. You have the two, two of pentacles. Now, this could be someone that's juggling their finances. This could be someone that's trying to stay balanced. But again, this could also be someone that has a decision to make. And you do have a couple of twos here, Capricorn. Having a decision to make, but being unsure, you know, you're probably going back and forth with trying to make this decision. You know, this is changing your mind and then changing it again, but definitely having a decision to make. And again, you know, maybe an opportunity came back around with the Six of Cups. And for some of you... You know, maybe someone from the past offered you something and now you really need to make a decision. You know, and if you are struggling in the past, and very focused on saving your money, you know, feeling more stable, more secure, and your hopes and fears, you have the Hierophant. So this could represent legal matters, large companies. Some of you could have a legal matter that's ongoing, you know, career matters being important. A company could have, you know, offered you something. Or you have to make a decision and it involves the company that you already work for. 
What's very interesting is you're leaving the month with the Eight of Swords, Capricorn. I don't know why we're worried. You know, it is that, it's that mental energy. You know, throughout the whole month, you come up very grounded, stable, in your own element. And at the end of the month, you have this mental energy, feeling stuck, trapped. I don't feel like all of you are going to experience this energy. Because this is a great spread. You just need to stay out of your head and try to stop overthinking, overanalyzing things. You know, this represents you really worrying, fearing the worst, anxiety. Maybe some of you, you know, took this sword and cut something out of your life. And it's a huge decision for you. And this really could be fear around that. You could be afraid to move forward. You know, you have this amazing opportunity. And you have this decision that you need to make. And you're, you're feeling nervous about it. But you are. You're just feeling nervous about it. And you, you just need to overcome it. Yeah, let's clarify that. That. Let me go to the Two of Swords first. The Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords for Capricorn. Okay, that's one. Wow, this cut, this flipped up for you guys early, like when I was shuffling this deck. Unbelievable. Okay, I'm going on the floor. Okay, justice. All right, that actually feels good. All right, the page of swords on the eight of swords. Interesting, the King of Swords, the King of Wands, I need one more, Knight of Cups, okay, let me, let me look at this, okay. I mean, you're definitely, I'm convinced, you're hanging in there. You're not backing down. You're not giving up. You know, this is being exhausted, but you're not giving up. You know, with justice, it could be some sort of legal decision. Legal matter. Some of you going through a difficult divorce or a lawsuit of some kind. You know, and there could have been delays with the Page of Swords. And you're worried about it. You know, because things have been delayed. Worried that justice won't be served. You know, if something was done to you unfairly, it could be that something happened to you. And now you're contemplating suing this person or this company. Maybe you have them waiting for them to do the right thing before you consider suing them. I am getting that. You could be, you could have been putting it off and putting it off. Like if it's the company that you work for or, or maybe something with the government because the, the Hierophant could absolutely represent the government, legal documents, paperwork or something like that. Just say caution here because, you know, someone could, someone could be watching someone. Like, if you do have a lawsuit that's ongoing, I really do feel like some of you are being watched, like, on the internet. You know, this is the spy card. I know it's not reversed, but I do get that feeling. So, 
you do have messages, news, communication coming in with the Knight of Cups, an opportunity, you know, offers that are very exciting, you know, and are going to make you happy. And then, you know, air sign energy again. You have the Queen of Swords, now you have the King. Some of you definitely could be offered something, and, and it could be multiple offers. You have two kings here, so maybe some of you are being offered something by a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and you're nervous about this. It could be, you know, it could be something very good that's coming in, Capricorn, but again, you need to overcome this nervous energy. Those of you that are single and are dating, that could definitely explain the Two of Pentacles. Some of you could be playing the field, having fun. If you're single, hey, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Others of you could have someone from the past, maybe an ex coming back. And that could explain the nervousness, you know, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is always someone that you know. You know this person. They're from the past. You know, maybe they have all of this in their chart. You could mix this up any way you want. Air sign, a fire sign, a water sign. That has, you know, air sign that has fire in their chart and water. Water sign that has, you know, mix it up. You know what I mean? You know, maybe, you know, maybe you were hurt in the past by this person. And now your guard is up. Some of you, that could be the decision that you're needing to make. Making a choice between these two men. And actually, to be honest, Capricorn, it could be three because the King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles could be one of these people here. Or, or one of them has Earth in their chart or air and fire in their chart. Very interesting, but very positive yet, too. But you just need to get over this feeling worried. So for you guys, I am using the secret language of animals, oracle cards, and also the romance angel. If you love animals like I do, you'll absolutely love this deck, really. there by Chip Richardson. Richards? Richards. Yeah, Chip Richards. Secret language of animals. Additional guidance for Capricorn. Okay, orangutan, laughter, curiosity, patience, and play. So, having fun and getting to know someone. 
As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I definitely feel like I'm reading for, for two groups here, possibly three. Some of you, this is career. This is financial. Could be legal. Others of you, relationship matters. For those of you that it's a relationship, you definitely could be meeting someone. Most likely someone that, again, that you already know coming back from the past, coming forward. You want to get to know them. Having fun, playing around, flirting. I feel like it's really going to be a nice month for you guys, Capricorn, really. Absolutely. Amazing. Very nice. I think some of you are already there. Love it. All right, Capricorn, if the reading did not help, you know, if it didn't resonate, again, you know, please watch your other signs. But thank you guys so much for viewing the video. Have a wonderful month. Absolutely love you guys, and I'll see you back here soon. Take care.